All right, and welcome to a um, Magic the Gathering um, Mana Trader series match. I'm recording this for the Community Legacy of the YouTube channel, uh, but this is just the Mana Trader series. So if you want to get signed up with Mana Traders, click the link below and you'll directly support the Community Legacy League. Good luck and have fun to you as well. All right, so as you can see here, we're playing Infect. Um, we'll, we'll see what this what this hand does. This hand sucks. Let's just go ahead and say that. We're going to mulligan that. This hand also sucks. So we're going to mulligan again. This hand also sucks, but we're going to keep. Uh, we cannot, I don't feel like going lower is any better, but we are going to get rid of a, um, <laughs> all four blossoming defenses. All right, I put on the bottom, and, uh, yep, there we go. So, this Noble Hierarch is going to be super well defended, if anything. And it looks like we're playing Breach. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's Breach. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this Noble Hierarch out of the board. I don't know many other decks that play Stomping Ground on turn one. We'll have to see exactly what it is. And uh, hopefully it's nothing that's going to absolutely destroy us here. Yep. Okay. So we have 8, 9 damage. Uh, but not enough mana to do any of that. So hopefully we don't die. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the um, Nova Hierarch to keep that. Alright. So if we draw a scale up, we are good to go. If we draw a scale up, life is good. That's why I love Infect sometimes. Like, just the top of the deck gives you that draw and you get all that adrenaline rush. Love it. So let's see what they what they do here. Let's make sure I did not accidentally um, turn off all the yields. I didn't know if I accidentally pressed 6. I do that sometimes. And we'll see what happens. Let's see what this Banjo Caveman's got for us. Which is a super cool name. I'm a big fan of that. <sighs> He's thinking, so I'm assuming he has interaction of some kind. Uh, he's already got a blocker. But luckily, we don't have to waste spells on the blocker, which is good. Destroy X target artifacts and creatures. What? Okay. Destroy X target artifacts and or creatures. For each permanent destroyed this way, it's from the top of the until an artifact or creature card is revealed and exiles that card. Put the exile card in the back. Okay. Something weird is going on here. Oh. Well. Um. Okay. That explains that. Okay. Let's uh, concede that game. Okay. Alright, no idea what the hell just happened there, I do not understand, but it looks like he requires that card, so I think, um, Grab Digger's Cage is a super smart choice. Um, I have no idea what the hell his deck is up to, so, uh, it was red and green, so I don't think Mystical Dispute is going to do us much. No, not good at all. Um, I think it's just Graph Digger's Cage, right? Um, and we should try to combo as fast as possible. So let's keep in. I want to keep Vines of Asswood to possibly, like, if he was going to do that, destroy X target creatures and then we Vines it. And it's kind of like a pseudo counter spell. I'm going to get rid of the uh, Become Immense because I just don't know if we'll have time to keep that up. I really like Scale Up here. Uh, and let's also get rid of a might no ground ground swell is a conditional one and it may not work you know what let's bring spell skite in too because spell skite is, allows to change that target over um if he only has the one target so let's get rid of another let's get rid of the let's cut the ground swells i don't know if they're as good here as we would want them to be Hopefully this isn't like a super quick match where I get comboed twice in a row because I'm posting this to YouTube no matter what happens. Um, so, yeah, Manatraders.com if you want to sign up and uh, support the Community Legacy League, feel free.
I'm going to take a swig of my tea here. Hold on just one second. Okay. I wonder how much interaction they actually would have for us. It can't be that much. It just can't be. Uh, hopefully it's nothing. I would love to play first in this matchup. Okay. This hand's great. Uh, we have uh, interaction for his potential shenanigans that he's going to do. Plus we're going to... We have we are late on land, so I am going to lead on the Noble High Arc. Uh, I'm a big fan of Infect of when you lead with Noble High Arc, even when... Uh, unless you have a turn two kill and you're playing a deck that you know can't beat you. Uh, if you don't get that extra mana out ahead of time, especially when we only have one land like we do, leads to disasters when it comes to stack spells. <clears throat> so let's see what Mr. Uh, Banjo Caveman. He's mulliganing the six, which is good for us, consider we mulled the five last game. Okay. Um, so life I do not believe to be a matter here at all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a breeding pool. Uh, I would love to pay two life. And let's get that Noble Hierarch out. And then next turn, let's get the, uh, <clears throat> let's get the Glistener Elf out. I typically would be a, f we might get the Bladed Agent out maybe because, uh, that way even if he, depends on if we draw a land. If we, if we draw a land, then we'll probably get the Bladed Agent out, which we didn't. So let's go ahead and get the, um, Glistener Elf. And again, I want to save the land in case he bolts and then tries to kill a creature. Which happens a lot. Oh, I should mention too that I'm currently 1-0 in the Mana Trader series. Um, with Infect. I'm going to try to run Infect through, through this. It's just one of my favorite modern decks. Modern sometimes feels like two ships passing in the night. And I feel like this ship is a fast ship. You're either going to win or lose quickly. It's one of the things I, I love about this deck. Please excuse my dog barking. Alright, Dwarven Mine. Okay, so this just tells us that he has some problems with lands here. Excuse my dog barking. She does not like people um, coming down the road. Alright, so 4, 8, 9, 10. We have the win here. Uh, so 4... Eight, nine. Let's start off with this. Let's start off and see what and see what and see what he does. Let's see if he tries to pull, which he doesn't. So six and then ten. So yeah, we have the win. Let's crack. My dog really does not like what's going on out there right now. Just so I almost forgot about the Nuba Higher trigger. I, I kept thinking that we were at uh, that we were at nine, in fact. But yeah, I'm gonna shut this door so my dog doesn't disrupt this YouTube video too much, as she tends to do from time to time. Okay, so we're going to go to game three here. Uh, I like a game three. And I like our odds overall. I don't know where we're going to be at. Who knows? His shenanigans that this dude's up to. Seems like some pretty intense shenanigans, if I'm being honest. Watch him play shenanigans, too. I guess our ink moth or something. I hope we have another fast hand. I hope we have a vines hand or a spell pierce hand is what I'm really hoping for. All right, so this hand is super tempting. Reason being is we win through an Emrakul. We win through an Emrakul here. We lose to anything that's interaction, though. Like, if he did bring in bolts or whatever, this hand sucks there. But this hand wins through an Emrakul because we got six. 
uh, and then seven, eight, and then, you know, two, two hits, and plus this is a thing, so, since we're on the draw, I'm gonna keep this hand, this hand's risk, this hand's super risky, because we're also depending on the high arc for the, um, for the mana, but it also has a spell up here, so, <clears throat> let's see what happens, if he bolts here, we're in, we're in a lot of trouble. This hand was a risky keep. I probably should not have kept it, but if he plays a far seek here, um, or okay, an explorer, play additional land this turn, draw a card. Hopefully, he misses a land drop. Let's let's uh, let's not forget that he could technically miss a land drop. He's just probably thinking about what land he gets to play. No, he's got a wood. Okay. Mountain Bolt. Is he holding? Perfect. Good. We have a land. I want to... Although the, the pump here could be re somewhat relevant, I'm going to keep it off. Um... So let's talk about next turn. Next turn, we could scale up, right? So we're going to scale up, taking the six. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We win next turn? I guess the question is, is should I cast the Distortion Strike right now uh, to free up mana for a pump spell, a protection spell next turn, to free up a blue mana. That's the decision we have to make here. Do I cast this Distortion Strike right now? Because then next turn, if like this attack fails, we can play a Blighted Agent. Because I have a feeling we're going to have to use the spell pierce like this turn. So let's let's do the math one more time. Six, seven from the Noble High Arc, eight from the Destruction Strike. So we actually do not have lethal anyway. So we need to we need a removal spell. I need to win through a Emrakul. So let's let's keep the blue mana up, and that way we get it over two turns. So next turn we need to. We need to hit with the Noble High Arc Trigger plus a Pendle Haven, so that'll be three plus four. That means six is all we need, which means uh, even a uh, Groundswell, or sorry, we took Groundswell out. It might evolve Crows as lethal, um, things of that nature. But we need to do this while keeping his combo off. So I guess the question is, is how do we keep his combo off? And I think a Spell Pierce is only so good. I definitely don't like him having three mana to potentially kill. Okay, he's got the dwarf in mind. All right, so we spell pierce that. And we six away. Okay, what if what else here? I don't know how this works, actually. Do I get the plus one plus one? So six, seven, six, seven, eight. Let's do this first. Then let's. I'm interested to see how this works because I actually don't know. Uh, this actually has not come up for me yet.
Alright, it's a nine. Okay, so it does not work. Or did it work and I'm just an idiot? I, it's hard to tell sometimes with me because I am pretty stupid sometimes. Getting into 9 was crucial so that like either one of these bladed agents is, is uh, lethal. I don't know how many of these hymns transmogrifies he has or whatever. Or how many spells like it he has. <sighs> I don't know. Search for tomorrow, sure. Alright, he says GG's. Um, oh, cool. And we won the match, so we're 2-0 in the uh, Mana Trader series. Um, so, great. Good stuff. Uh, thank you very much.